Welcome to our lesson on using function machines to solve an equation. So here we have the equations and we're going to work out the values of the letters A, F, U and X by solving each equation using this function machine here. So the input to our function machine or the unknown value we're trying to find. So for question A we're trying to find A and the equation A add 7 is equal to 12. So a is what goes into our machine. The function is we're adding 7 to it, and then we get 12 coming out. So to solve this equation, we're going to work the problem backwards. Well, 12 is now going into our machine, and because we're going in the opposite direction, we're going to do the opposite of add 7, which is take away 7. And 12 take away 7 is 5. So A is equal to 5. We can check this works by putting 5 back into our top function machine. We have 5, we add 7 to it, and we do get 12. So we know it works. Okay, for question B. Well, F is the value we're trying to find. So this goes into our function machine. The subtraction of 4 is our function. So that goes here. And then is equal to 10 is our output and that goes here and to solve this equation we're going to work the problem backwards so we have now 10 going in we do the opposite of the takeaway 4 which is add 4 and 10 add 4 is 14 so f is equal to 14 again we can check this works we can put 14 into our top machine we have 14 takeaway 4 which does make 10 do you want to try and work out the value of u in question c and the value of x in question d? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question c, we have u divided by 3 is equal to 9. Remember, when we write equations, we don't include the division symbol. We write it as a fraction instead. So u is going into our machine. The function is a division of 3. And then 9 comes out. So when we go the other way, we have 9 going in. We do the opposite of divide 3, which is multiply by 3, and this is 27. So u is equal to 27. And for question and for question d, now we have 5x is equal to 30. And we don't include the multiplication symbol here, but we can write it as 5 multiplied by x, which is 30. So the multiplication of 5 is the function. x is the input, and 30 is the output. When we go the other way, we have 30 divided by 5, because that's the opposite of times 5. And 30 divided by 5 is 6, so x is equal to 6. Okay, let's move on to solving equations involving two steps. So the question E, the equation 6g add 7 is equal to 49, has two functions to it. But we begin using the order of operations, so we do the multiplication first. We have g. We are multiplying it by 6, and then we are adding 7. So, the multiplication of 6 goes here, because we're doing that first. G is our input, and once we've multiplied it by 6, we add the 7, and we get 49 as the output. To work the problem backwards, we have 49, take away the 7, divided by 6. 49 take away 7 is 42. 42 divided by 6 is 7. And again, we can check this works. When 7 goes into our machine, we times it by 6 to get 42. And 42 add 7 does make 49. Okay, let's try question F. So for question F, we could expand the brackets, which would be perfectly valid. Or we can do what's in the brackets first, again, using the order of operations. So we have u, which is our input, and then we're taking away 4. So take away 4 goes here, u is the input, and then when we have taken 4 away from u, we multiply the result by 7. So times 7 goes here, and this is 56. When we go the other way, 56 divided by 7 and add 4. 56 divided by 7 is 8, and 8 add 4 is 12. Let's check it works. If 12 goes in, 
we take away 4 to get 8. Then we have 8 multiplied by 7, which is 56. So we know u is equal to 12. Okay, do you want to try and work out questions g and h? You can pause the video and begin it when you're ready. So for question g, we have n add 2. So n goes in. We're adding 2. And then we're multiplying the result by the 5. And we get 75. We go the other way. 75 divided by 5. Take away 2. 75 divided by 5 is 15. And 15 take away 2 is 13. So n is equal to 13. And finally for question h. We have x going into our machine. We're dividing it by 12. And then we're adding 9. 13 is the output. So going the other way, 13 take away 9, and then multiply by 12. 13 take away 9 is 4, and 4 multiplied by 12 is 48. So x is equal to 48. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.